Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at fuses. So let's get started. Well, what is a fuse first of all? Well, a fuse is something that we can put into a circuit which acts as a safety device. So it's another component that we're going to talk about. There are two typical fuses that you need to be aware of for the National 5 course, and these are the 3 amp and the 13 amp fuse. There are other fuses that exist, however, such as the 5 amp and the 10 amp fuse, but we won't be talking about these in the National 5 course. And there's a certain cutoff point depending on the power rating of the appliance. So if the appliance has a power rating less than 720 watts, then it's going to need a 3 amp fuse. However, if the appliance uses over 720 watts, then it's going to need a 13 amp fuse. So you need to remember this cutoff point 720 watts, where anything below it will need a 3 amp fuse and anything above it will need a 13 amp fuse. And you'll see a picture here of some typical fuses and we've said that we're interested in the 3 amp and the 13 amp fuse. And in case you're wondering what is inside here, well we've got these two metal contacts on either end and then inside this little tube you've got a thin wire. And it says that this thin wire will break or melt when too large a current flows. So this is how the fuse works as a safety device. So if too large a current flows in a circuit with a fuse, the thin wire of the fuse will melt or break and this in turn breaks the circuit which is what we want to prevent any wires from overheating. So how do we actually draw a fuse in a circuit diagram? Well this is the circuit symbol for a fuse here. So it looks just like a resistor with a box or a rectangle but notice how the wire is continuing to go through the rectangle unlike the resistor. So you might be asked to identify or label the fuse in a circuit diagram or to even draw the fuse in a circuit diagram. So how do fuses work and why do we use them? Well it says here that fuses are fitted to mains appliances. So if we look at this plug here you'll see it's got three types of wires and a fuse and then we've got this outer flex here which protects the three wires inside. And just for interest, the types of wires we have here, the green and yellow one there is called the earth wire, the blue one is called the neutral wire, and the brown wire is called the live wire. But the main point of showing you this is to show you how the fuse is positioned inside a plug. So in this example we have a 3 amp fuse sitting here. And it says that if too large a current flows through the appliance, then the fuse will break, stopping the current flow and therefore protecting the wires in the flex by preventing them from overheating and catching fire. Now a common misconception is that because the fuse is found inside the plug of an appliance, that the fuse is there in order to protect the appliance. But it's not really there to protect the appliance, it's there to protect the wires in the flex. And as a result of the circuit breaking due to the fuse, that is then in turn going to protect the appliance, but it's primarily to protect the wires in the flex. And another way to think about this is that if too large a current flows in a circuit, then it's likely that the appliance will already have stopped working or failed. So if the fuse then breaks after that, your appliance will still no longer be working. So the main purpose of the fuse is to protect the wires in the flex from overheating and catching fire, and this in turn prevents the device itself, the appliance, from overheating. Lastly, just a quick warning about the wording that you use when answering questions to do with fuses. Make sure you don't use the word blow, i.e. the fuse blows, because that doesn't really make sense. And it suggests that something explodes when it doesn't. So what we need to say instead is that the fuse breaks or it melts, because that's what is actually happening. The wire inside the fuse is melting, and that is breaking the circuit. So use one of those words to describe what happens to a fuse when too large a current flows. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.